in a world dominated by technology, only those with technical know-how will survive. All too often, users lack crucial familiarity with the technological resources available to them, even when there's a librarian present to help them. This can really hold them back in life, and we wanted to develop a standardized protocol so we can be confident as librarians that we're doing the most we can to change this. We assembled a team of librarians from three separate kinds of libraries and talked about the similarities in the types of teaching we were doing. The Thoth method was what we came up with. Thoth stands for Tangible, Hands-On Tech Habits. And the concept behind it is extremely simple, yet crucially important for the development of tech learners in their journey to self-sufficiency. It is in essence a roadmap for educators and librarians to use and refer to when they are teaching in a tech situation. There are eight steps to the Thoth method. Number one, assess the user need. Number two, identify the appropriate tools that would be used to meet this need. Number three, provide access to these tools. Number four, demonstrate to the user how you would use these tools to meet the need. Number five, and this is a crucial one, oversee the user getting hands-on practice with the tools. Number six, Address any user concerns, such as mistakes that they made or questions that they might have. Number seven, evaluate their progress. And number eight, repeat the steps if necessary. Now this is nothing new. Effective teachers have been implementing similar practices for ages, but we feel that in spite of the inherent common sense in these steps, they're too often overlooked. Hence the development of the Thoth method which we can utilize in each of our very different libraries to achieve the desired result, greater user familiarity and effectiveness using tech resources. At Joliet Central High School, we have 3,000 students, and I'm faced with the issue of how do I get kids to become more comfortable using technology. One of my goals is for kids to understand what technology to use at the right time. The Thoth um, method that we've created is to help me as a librarian teach using uh, certain rituals so that students can become comfortable with the technology and then want to grow more, try more, be more um, outgoing, creative, uh, expressive and not just copy and paste things, but rather create original thought and put more effort into their final product. I think that uh, using the Thoth program to help students learn about the library using new technologies could be very beneficial, especially for distant students who are really sort of at a disadvantage because all of their classes are online, so they don't get to have that typical on-campus college experience like most students get to have. So implementing the Thoth method using web conferencing software like Adobe Connect can really help to normalize the experience for distant students and can really help to simplify their research process. The elements of the Thoth project that I am personally um, the most excited about is that my users right now are very reliant on me uh, to help them through the whole recording process. I do a lot of hip hop recording on a day to day basis. And uh, if I'm not available or if uh, other staff isn't available to do this for them, then they just can't work. They don't have uh, any way to control their own output. So by us implementing this method uh, of, you know, really making sure that they are familiar with the resources that are available to them, that they are very enthusiastic about already, um, they will be helping themselves uh, become less reliant. Their success will be determined by no one but themselves. So the reason why I'm really excited about the Thoth method is that you can also use it for training staff. 
I plan on using it to train my reference staff in using Adobe Connect, which is a web conferencing software, to help students that call in and need help with like our website and also databases and issues that happen that like that, where we can see what they see and we can also see, and they can see what we see and it ends up being you know, more than just us giving them random directions. Do you see this button? That kind of thing that we all seem to have problems with when trying to give computer help over the phone. I'm excited about the thought method because we can use it to train staff who have all different computer levels and, and are comfortable with it in different ways and that kind of stuff. And I think this is a very clear cut method to help train and get everybody on the same page in a very easy way. Thoth is a simple method that can be utilized in any library or educational scenario. It will ensure that you achieve your desired results. It's broad enough to be applicable to any teacher-learner interaction, yet it's just the framework and it's really meant for you to customize it. And in this sense, it can involve the specifics of even the most esoteric of disciplines. We look forward to getting the ball rolling on the Thoth method and uh, we would appreciate any sort of feedback. We are looking forward to the coming months and year. Thank you.